All right, Tig, or should I call you Randy Rhodes? Um, let's work on some crazy train. All right, so we're just beginning on this, and like I told you at, at our um, at our lesson, that you will probably spend a good month on this one. Okay, um, it's kind of hard. All right, so. All right, so we have our intro. And just to remind you, it's on the second fret with your pointer. So you go, then over to your A string, back, back. And then you go to second fret, fourth fret on your E. And then open, so. four times. Halfway through the last one, we go over here. We do our D to our E. So five power chord on your A string, and then up to seven power chord on your A string. And then we go into our first riff. So your chords on that is a ring finger on seven of your D, middle finger on six of your G, pointer finger on five of your B, and that's your first chord. So you hit your A string, okay? Get used to doing that, so A. And now we're gonna go down to, all right? So you can use, yep, you do ring finger on six of your D, pointer on four, of your G, middle on five of your B. Okay, so you got, and then we take that same chord and drop it down a whole step. Okay, same formation to an A major. And what I want you to try getting used to is doing this. working on that that palm mute so you have open all right that's open no palm mute too much palm mute too much too much pressure lighten that pressure and you get a nice muted note all right so that's where we're headed for next week um, we'll finish it next week and start studying the song structure of it all right and also keep working on Day Tripper. Keep playing that song, okay? You do not want to undo any hard work you did on it, all right? Um, so keep working on Day Tripper, Crazy Train, and, you know, review Ramones and, and also Ziggy Stardust, too. Um, doing great. See you next week.